apostles supposed to be, which I was arrested one of those. Uh, they had enough uh, people, enough, enough spy. I worry that they, they know now all those houses and when they, you know, invaded, I use invade, invaded the suburbs. Unfortunately, they might have raided all those all those houses now, and you know all these activists. Uh, so I don't know what happened to those people now. They easily, you know, they 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 arrested over a thousand people in Harasta. You know, they don't care if there's enough room to. You know, they open stadium. They they put in stadium. You know, uh, you know. Again, I have so many stories like. You know, small place. They put you know uh, tens of people. Uh, they cannot sleep. You know, a couple of people sleep, and the other ten people waiting next day. Uh, so they don't care about you know human conditions in the jails. They just you know got it, and then they <clears throat> torture, beat, uh, kill, get killed. Doesn't matter to them. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was there, you know, last week, and I know that uh, conditions this week is much worse than last week, that when the FSA control. Uh, could be even, could be just a tactical move of the regime to let the FSA uh, to, you know, control those suburbs for a couple of weeks, and then, you know, send their spies to... Uh, see all those safe houses and people, and then uh, now all the tanks rolled back, and with thousands of thousands of military officers and military men, and now they got them, and then probably they swept. Uh, they they got all those people, you know, activists, and uh, so this situation is here right now. Yeah, in, in all Tell me how you. Tell me how the how the story ended for you. And mm -hmm. then we'll look at some yeah. Right okay. Uh, so I was supposed to leave. A I went there for nine days, mm -hmm. and I was in Duma, one of the cities that thirty minutes away from central Damascus. And then when I got there, that uh, city was sieged by by the army. And next day was Saturday in 21st of January. Uh, it must be right, 21st of January. Saturday afternoon in Duma, there was a funeral that the army attacked. I was there. Six people died. I, I, I had pictures in the, and tens of people were wounded. And, and you, saw CD, the, you saw the I saw it. It was the uh, funeral. I was there. Uh, and the tension in Duma was suddenly rise, and the FSA got in control in the, in the city, and the army was outside outskirts of, of the city. And uh, basically, I couldn't get out of the city, so I, I missed, I changed flight to Monday. I couldn't get out Monday either. It was still siege by the army. Uh, so I couldn't leave. And it was Wednesday I wanted to leave. Last Wednesday, I couldn't leave again. There was no seat available, I was told. And, and then it came to Thursday night. And when the regime forces came to Harasta and took back to Harasta, the clashes uh, went on all night. Uh, even the morning, you know, Azan, morning prayer, when the muezzin was uh, uh, In the minaret and you know morning prayer, while the exam was continuing, Kalashnikovs were you know it's like combining, blending each other, and I you know we didn't know who won the streets, uh, but finally about 9:30 a.m., uh, our door was banging, and then you know my roommate, uh, whom I met through internet, you know had nothing to do with my journalistic uh, thing. I uh, so he came to my room, he said, they want you, I remember very well. Uh, and then four or five soldiers got in, you know, bringing the house upside down, 
you know, rushing into door, taking uh, my computer and two other computers and the camera and everything they got, and then you know, opening uh, the doors and getting whatever they had. I had no idea. You know, I was just staying there a couple of days because I missed my flight. But I was, you know, trying to still see the people. Uh, so they arrested us. Uh, they didn't hit me uh, at that moment, but they were beating that guy really, really harshly. Uh, you know, yelling and all that. Not only us. Apparently, when you know they uh, walk us through the street, you know, I saw from outside two other people are coming and other, you know, groups and then. I saw a couple of other groups, exactly like us, you know, they put their uh, sweater uh, pullover, whatever, their hat, that's what they do, and then they cannot see, they didn't do it to me, they just told me they don't look around, but I was trying to still see. They didn't know how to treat me at that moment, I, I was Ejnebi as they call it, Turkish, and uh, I... I remember they were saying Safi journalist means in Arabic, uh, but they, they weren't sure exactly who I was, so they didn't hit me at that moment, and then they didn't uh, handcuff me or they didn't do anything. Uh, they just arrested me. And Did you get any sense that being <clears throat> Turkish protected you, that they were thinking it might be unwise to make a Turkish person disappear or send him back with... Uh, I, I, Did you have any sense that your citizenship protected you, that they were aware that you... Uh, definitely. It, yeah. At that moment, first moment, they, yeah, it did. I, I showed my passport, you know. Uh, so they didn't know how to treat me, and they didn't do... They, they were rude to me. It was not like, you know, it wasn't... They weren't polite. Uh, they, they pushed me a couple times around. I was trying to grab my computer and... Uh, you know, my stuff, they pushed me, but it wasn't, you know, nothing compared to what they were doing right there at that moment to that guy. Uh, so they took us to harass the police hospital. Uh, it's like 10 minutes drive. Uh, and then, you know, and then I was there. Then the translator came a couple hours later, he was speaking Turkish and he apparently he already read my stories in Turkish Vatan, which they were headline in Turkey and then they were, you know, really harsh. Uh, I was calling them, you know, all those different names in those stories. And, uh, you know, I think that saved me a lot. If I didn't write those stories, I really, really do think that that could have been much harder for me to get released that fast. Uh, so he knew that I was working for Watan. I don't know how he knew it, but he knew it. Uh, and then by the time they were question, he was questioning me, uh, I was hearing and seeing people are, you know, that they were beating all these people right there, weeping, you know, really terrible, you know, noise in the background, uh, they were begging not to, you know, eat. And it was just, of course, first stuff. I cannot imagine, you know, what's going to happen to them rest of the uh, weekend days. And then they took me in the hospital. I didn't know still it was hospital till, you know, a couple hours later, somebody told me this is hospital. You know, when you got in the harass the police hospital, you see, you know, cells, like in the first floor. I was thinking, okay, they are going to put me in one of these cells and, you know, God knows how, what's going to happen. But no, they, you know, uh, put me in this room and it took about an hour at least, or an hour and a half. Uh, they took my passport. I was just sitting with one guard, one police, and then it came to... We were just trying to, you know, they were trying to make conversation, Arabic, Turkish, English, all blend. Uh, you know, are you married? Do you have kids? What's your family? Something, you know, just the end talks. But they were apparently.